Replace the water line DPW facility. I don't know why, but I could not find the video snippet. Apparently, I didn't make one for this, so I'm kind of like screwed up on that one. I guess there's a void there. I apologize. But as you recall, when we had uh, DPW in here, he talked about their water bills, and you know, we, he, he, he uh, induced him to speak in detail about the need to replace this. He made reference at that time to this worn article uh, probably surfacing this year. So here we have it. Um, again, this is a warrant article that stands on its own. You know, we're going to pay eighty-five thousand dollars. It's going to be you know, taxed. It's a two and a half cents per thousand on the uh, tax rate, and um, it's going to fix water leaks as well as providing an additional fire hydrant for um, fire protection in that area. So, uh, any other? I'll make a motion that we accept. Moved by. Frank to recommend. Recommend. And is it a second? I'll Mr. Second. Ladd seconded. Any discussion, Mr. Walbert? I, I, it's the same question I had before, and I watched uh, Director size. Jacobs. Um, are we going to find the leak? No. Uh, well, no, they're just going to replace the pipe. Because he said okay, earlier well, that finding the leak was near so, impossible without digging up. Remember what that? was the, uh, yeah, I do. What was the, um, how much money have we spent not finding that leak from the water bill? Do we know? Don't know. The thousands that we're going to resolve the issue. I understand that, but you got to bring these questions. It, listen. So you want this? We're going to do the same with your budget. We can't just we, we got to talk about why it happened for you and pass. people spending thousands of taxpayers' money. I mean, that's what the point I'm saying. It would have been nice to know. We get water bills a month to say because we have spent, you know, sixty-four thousand dollars more. We now need to do this. You see the point? It's, yeah. it's Brian, like, are you are you advocating we delay the vote until? We no, have, I'm ready. Okay. I'm I'm gonna vote for right. it. Okay. But I'm just saying that it's it's we, we can't just like oh okay well, it's like doing something to your house. Well, it costs a hundred thousand dollars, but you don't know why it happened. But just so that the taxpayers, I think it would be nice for Chris to say okay, this is what it cost us, and we really need to do this for this not to continue. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Well, you'll be here for other reasons. Yeah. Maybe we can get in this. Make oh, I, I think it's needed. I I'm I'm all for it. Okay, Mr. LeBranch. Yeah, the, my understanding is that they're replacing a one-inch copper pipe, <coughs> and they did dig a couple of spots looking for the leak, uh, and they uh, couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. um, they could replace this stretch. I don't know how many feet it is. 400 but feet. 400 feet. They could replace it with another one-inch copper pipe. No, they're not going to do that. They could, I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then you wouldn't have the leak. Presently, he's shutting off the water at one end or right. the other just so he doesn't keep leaking water continuously. But this is going to be an eight inch pipe, which is going to allow for fire protection, a hydrant. Mm -hmm. So that I guess, and was it Hooks it? No, was it Hooks it, Mike? There was one, there was a town well, where the. F further up than that, I think. Hanukkah. Yeah. It was in Hanukkah. The town garage burned down. They had just finished plowing. They pushed, they had just moved all the trucks back into the shed or whatever it was, the building, <laughs> and it burned to the ground during the night. Four, four o'clock in the morning, it caught in fire, burned to the ground. So his, uh, Chris was emphasizing very strongly mm -hmm. having this eight-inch pipe with a hydrant there so that, you know, for fire protection. Mm -hmm. And that, so I, I think that that's yeah. what warrants this much money, 85000 Okay, are we ready to vote on this? Yes. I Mr. might just sit, well, I'm in favor of that. But what you just expressed, if the taxpayers could see that explained, which is where Brian's going, so they understand what you're doing, Absolutely. I think that would that that would be add a little embellishment to explaining this to it. Because I mm -hmm. remember them talking about I yeah. remember the whole conversation very clearly about how we tried chasing that and was wasting his time and money. Yeah. But adding an eight inch pipe is fantastic. I just think they add those words to it and we approve it and whatever. Well, we can't it change. doesn't say eight inch pipe, it says sufficient size. To provide hydrant service, he he said could eight. be six, could be eight. Well, I thought I heard Chris say eight. Well, I uh, could have been. Could I'd be like six. to know what size, so we don't have to yeah. come back and do it again. Well, so it's a two-inch water main down there that feeds the public works garage now. So you're asking that we have him come in before we vote on this? Well, no, I don't think he's saying that. No. Okay. Just he just I wants to know. The, he just okay. wants to know the diameter. Oh, yeah. Is it going to affect your vote? Knowing that whatever the diameter is, it's going to well, accommodate a heart. It, need, it needs to be done, but it ought to be done right the first time right. instead yeah. of two two-inch pipes and end up, you know, without 
a hydrant when you get done. It doesn't make sense. I'm comfortable with the word sufficient size, but I think it would be helpful if we actually knew it was going to be no less than six or eight. Right. Whatever, that would be helpful, but required. it's not going to influence my vote because it says sufficient size to provide the hydrant service. It will not affect my vote, but I would like to know what size minimum it will be. Again, that's just kind of an FYI kind of experience, not something that's right. going to affect my vote. Uh, so if we're done, I'd like to call for a vote now on this. Uh, Make a motion to recommend. Been made, it? It's been made. Huh? Second. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable with it? Huh? Do you feel comfortable voting tonight? Well, if he puts in something that doesn't work, it won't be yeah. very good. Well, he could do that with the right size pipe, too. <laughs> no, it has to be something he's saying right here. Sufficient. It has to be sufficient size to provide right. hydrogen service. He spelled it out. If it's not good. sufficient size, then you can't spend money from this Warren article. Right. Because this Warren article specifies it must be of sufficient size. We have to place some faith in the DPW. Well, director. that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Um, Mr. Moore. Just for the sake of we don't have to be in a rush. Are you, no, just listen. Enough of your faces. We don't have to Can't help it, David. rush it now. This. We don't have to rush it now. Although there with some we, modifications. All you have to do is wait and you get to ask, make See, sure you get the, the simple, eight inches. That's a smart move. Simple answer. Right, and I know what the word sufficient means and people interpreting it, but what happens if somebody just is, he's sick and somebody else puts it in and does it wrong. We've had too, too many examples of that on all across America, like it's et cetera. Part of your $85,000, $87,000, whatever, 80, 85, seven, so what? There's no rush. We can vote on January 3rd with this yeah. answer. why not? Yeah, and I, and I forgot to right. add, out of respect to my longtime colleague, Mr. Plough, for over 60 years in this town, <laughs> and his great knowledge of Easy. this area, and I, and I mean that sincerely, and I, I would say I think we all respect Mike, and it, waiting to January 3rd is not going to be the end of the world. I think if we can just make sure that the question is answered, I'll be ready to vote January 3rd. Mr. LeBain. Um, could, could you refresh my memory? Who made the motion? Frank? So are you going to withdraw it, Frank? I'll withdraw it. Okay, I'll withdraw the second. You don't need to. There's no motion to second. Right. I'm Quick, making it clear. I appreciate you Italian. joining in the unit. You know, We've gone withdrawal. into all kinds of obscure okay. ambiguity. Right. I appreciate <laughs> that. So we can move on now. Thank you, Mr. LeBranch, for your assistance.